Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're checking out the drop for May the 19th, 2020. The new game releases and their trophies that have come up on PSN profiles. This one has a lot of good games in it. Let's take a look. I was thinking about you. So, as I said at the top, we are checking out the drop for May 19th, 2020. Like we do every week, we go through all the new games that have come up on the PlayStation blog in the drop. We check out all the new titles that are releasing on the store this week and their respective trophies to find out if there are any easy platinums popping up on the PlayStation store this week. This one is an interesting one. There's a couple of really decent games coming out. There's some things in here that I think are going to be pretty easy as well. And I'm going to try a slightly different format for this one here to see if we can make things a little bit more streamlined, keep it more engaging. So without further ado, let's kick off with the first title. So the first game on the drop this week is A Fold Apart. Uh, a Fold Apart is a 2D puzzle platformer style game. These two different characters who I guess are, are from different stories um, and the narrative that these two characters fall in love I suppose and you have to kind of get them together. Uh, so the trailer should be playing up above me now but the game's uh, description is in a world of folding paper there are two sides to every story. After career choices force them to along separate paths a teacher and an architect vow to make their long distance relationship work at any cost. I'm not going to read the whole thing word for word because these things get pretty lengthy. Now, unfortunately, this game here hasn't popped up on PSN profiles yet. However, that doesn't mean that we don't know what the trophies are. See, here at the Platinum Trophy YouTube channel, we go to great lengths to ensure that we have the most accurate trophy data that we can find. And sometimes that means going on to the Xbox websites and identifying what the achievements are going to be to determine what the Platinum is going to be. For those of you who don't know, quite often achievements pop up on servers earlier than trophies do. So if you don't have a trophy list for a game, generally you can go and check out the Xbox equivalent of that list and you can find out what the achievements are going to be from there. So just a little fun tip for you, but, but that basically gives us the trophy list for a fold apart. Um, now of course this is the achievement list, so trophy is not 100% confirmed, but they're very really different. So. If we look at this, it looks like a really straightforward plat. So, I mean, if it has a platinum. Uh, completing chapters one through six, which is just finishing the game. Then you have these four hidden trophies or achievements. Choose a couple at the start of the game. Uh, start a new job in the city, return home, and W start a new life together. I guess that's probably a typo. But it looks like there's only nine achievements, or 10 achievements in the entire game. So if this game has a platinum trophy, 11 trophies um, I don't know because there's so few achievements it makes me think maybe they don't have a platinum it might just be a hundred percent game um, but we'll know later in the week if, if this does work out to be a platinumable game then I would say this is a really easy platinum and the game actually looks pretty decent as well so could be worth checking out next up on the list is concept destruction now this is another Rattleika game anyone who knows what a Rattleika game is knows Red Leaker releases these really easy Platinums on the PlayStation Store like once a week or every two weeks. I have no doubt that this is going to be exactly the same as those. Concept Destruction is all about driving miniature cars made out of cardboard and crashing them into each other. I mean, there's probably enough of a description. I don't feel like we need to go any further. Like the previous title, this wasn't on PSN profiles yet. However, it is over on Xbox Achievements. So we have 16 achievements. And this will have a Platinum. Rattleika games always have a Platinum trophy and it's it's almost always very, very simple. Uh, get to paint zone and rooftop, destroy this car, win a championship, pick up five batteries, get out of the arena, destroy a rival car, on tourism mode, destroy a rival car, pass all school lessons, jump and stay in the air for more than three seconds, hit the hidden ball, get out of the driving area in school, drive on the roof, drive through the air, drive through one goalpost, drive through, dry, destroy three rival cars, survive over three minutes, and drive over five minutes in tourism mode. Now, I don't know what the game is except for the trailer that's playing now, but, but, based on these guys' history and based on this trophy list, this doesn't seem hard to me. This seems pretty, pretty simple. A lot of this is all just miscellaneous stuff. There's nothing here like complete the game on the hardest difficulty, complete the game five times. You know, it's, it's all like really straightforward stuff. And that's kind of, those are the alarm bells that go off for a uh, 
for a trophy hunter like me. Okay, next up we have Dungeon of the Endless. Uh, Dungeon of the Endless is an award-winning roguelike adventure dungeon defense game in which you and your team of heroes must protect the generator of your crashed ship while exploring an ever-expanding dungeon or while facing waves of monsters and special events as you try to find your way out. So fortunately this one was on PSN profiles. Um, isometric style roguelike game. Kind of interesting. The trailer will be playing but it won't have music. It's got a cool chip y kind of soundtrack to it which, which I dig. Um, so we have 27 trophies. Uh, okay, so this is a slightly longer list. Now, because it's a roguelike, I'm gonna automatically jump to a conclusion and say it's probably not gonna be an easy platinum. However, let's double check and, and see what the gold trophies are. So complete the album, which could be a collectible album or a monster album or something like that, we don't know. Open each door and each floor in a winning game. See that? to me feels very like incidental win a game with each hero that feels time consuming and then level up a hero to 15 for the first time which again sounds probably quite challenging so i would say i would hazard a guess to say this probably isn't going to be an easy plat um but the game does look really solid so you know it, it looks like a pretty decent game to check out if you're into that kind of thing now fault milestone edition I'm sure that we talked about this last week. I was right. This was supposed to come out last week. Well, we're not talking about that again. We've already we already talked about that last week. Let's have a look at Flux Terra. Uh, welcome to is it Flux Terra? Flux Terra. Welcome to Flux Terra. Non-stop arcade space shooting action in full 3D. Four modes of play: story mode, survival mode, and then it just lists off the modes. We're not definitely not reading off those. Uh, 21 trophies in this one. Let us order it by, let's say grade, and have a look at the golds first. Actually, I remember this one. I looked at this, um, I think I looked at this on the Platinum Trophy Show last week because the trophy images were just so bizarre. I've never seen anything like that before. The star system is now free. That feels like a finish the game. We need to study the enemy's chemistry. That feels like, like, level up your beastery. Um, we have to rewire those mechs. <sighs> no idea. Yeah, they, they just don't have good descriptions to them, do they? None of these do. Don't let them escape. Okay, not, literally none of these have good descriptions. It is a gold and silver heavy trophy list though, which does sometimes indicate that, that, that it's going to be a slightly easier trophy list. You, you can see the trailer playing above me. The game looks okay. I, I would say uh, it could potentially be an easy plat. I don't know, the style of game makes me think it could be, but based, the, these things can be so deceptive. Sometimes you think, ah, oh, this is an easy plat. And it turns out you it doesn't have one or something. I don't know. Uh, golf with friends. Why have friends if not to play golf? With your friends, nothing is out of bounds as you take on nine courses filled with fast-paced, exciting, simultaneous mini golf for up to 12 players. This is like the second golf game that came out this week. I, I saw another golf game. Uh, I was talking to my friends about it and turns out the other game came to the Nintendo Switch only. I think it was the Apple Arcade one where you like hit the ball and the guy's attached to it. And this one here is like a, a party golf game, I guess. Um, but it looks really cool. It looks like a really solid game. Uh, so, trophies for this one. Now, we did have a trophy list. It doesn't look like an easy trophy list, though. So, 18 bronze, 14 silvers, 4 golds, and a platinum. Thank goodness for the platinum. Uh, get 50 pars. And that already feels time consuming. Get a hole in one. That, that does two. Although, someone's already got that. Uh, get eaten by Jinji in the practice arena. I'm guessing that's like a, you hit the ball into a gingerbread man or something like that. Uh, probably an obstacle. Uh, take a thousand shots. I feel like that's time consuming. But to be honest, like doesn't sound too bad. Apart from maybe to get the 50 pars. To get the hole in one, I'm skeptical about. But, th but people have already earned that. So I wonder if maybe that is actually not too bad. Um, then there's just a whole bunch of like long stuff. Take 500 shots. Uh, get power better on the haunted mission uh, classic. Uh, get ten albatross. Uh, get ten birdies. Get power better. This doesn't seem bad. Like it's a long list because you've got to play a full round of classic and da and da and da. Like it's all about playing full rounds uh, of golf on each of the different maps. Uh, I'm guessing is what those are. So yeah, it looks like a pretty decent trophy list. Um, I take back what I said at the start. I said it was hard at the start. I think it's probably going to be easy, but slightly time consuming. That's that's my guess now. Golf with your friends. I actually think I might pick this one up. That, that this, this could be good. I might do some golf with friends. 
Okay, this one here I'm definitely excited about. Gorn is a VR game that came out on, I guess it was Oculus or HTC a while back. Uh, it's a gladiator game um, and it looks awesome. It's uh, Gorn is ludicrously, that took way more times than I'd like to admit to get right, violent VR gladiator simulator. Savagely strike down an infinite supply of poorly animated opponents with the manner of weapons, swords, maces, and bows, to nunchucks, throwing knives, massive two-handed warhammers, or even your broad, your blood-soaked bare hands. Now, we don't have a trophy list for it, and because it's a VR game, it's not coming out on Xbox, so I can't use my normal tactics. Now, we could look at the Steam achievements for it, but I'm not going to because quite often they do change between Steam and the console releases. This game is good, like you can see the trailer playing. It's it's a really funny game, it, it, it looks like a lot of fun. So many different YouTubers have done Let's Plays of this game, and yeah, I'm, I'm kinda curious about it myself. I do kinda wanna check it out. Maybe I'll make this my first PlayStation VR first play on the channel, if people are into that. I'm, yeah, I'm really glad this is with PSVR now. More people are gonna be able to check this one out, which is awesome. Uh, next we've got Gunman Clive HD Collection. I've never heard of Gunman Clive before, but these guys didn't put a platinum trophy in their game. As you can see here, we've just got a ton of um, bronzes and stuff like that, so I'm just going to skip over this one. Sorry to all you Gunman Clive fans out there. I did look at the trailer, by the way. It doesn't look bad. It's like a 2D Western side-scroller, which is cool. Like, the game looks solid. It's just without... Why, why is there no platinum trophy in there, guys? You need to include that in there. Next up is Maneater. This is, oh man, I'm so excited for this one. I, uh, I've been looking forward to Maneater for months now. It's uh, being published by, I don't even know who. I can't remember anymore. I was gonna say THQ, but it's not THQ. This, um, you play as a shark, you attack people, you do things that a shark would do, and yeah, this is, I'm, I'm super psyched for this. Experience the ultimate power fantasy as the apex predator of the seas, a terrifying shark. Maneater is a single player, open world, action RPG, shark PG. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. Uh, where you are the shark, devour nutrients to grow and evolve far beyond what nature intended. This game is going to be awesome. I can't wait for it. I'm going to be checking this one out next week. Now, the trophies for this one haven't gone live yet either, but the achievements for it have. So we can have a look at this. Uh, it's a long achievement list. So what do we got here? Survive birth, complete the tutorial, reach teen growth, reach adult growth, elder growth, mega growth, and evolve for the first time. So that's like leveling up your shark, basically. Uh, acquire 50% of available evolutions, 100% of evolutions, that sounds time consuming. Uh, complete all objectives in each of these different levels. So there's quite a few different levels we have to complete all the objectives. Uh, reach 100% objective completion in all regions. Uh, kill the Apex Predator um, in each of these different missions as well. Destroy all Apex Predators, so that's kind of like your cum cumulative of that. Survived again, get revenge, find all nutrient caches, reach infamy level 1 and level 10, find all landmarks and find all license plates. Look, it sounds like a time consuming plat. Who knows how hard it's going to be, maybe killing those Apex Predators will be hard. Maybe that's just the missions for finishing each of the levels, I don't know. Um, yeah, this game looks awesome, I'm excited for it. But the, the trophy list does look slightly challenging, so... Uh, well, I mean, it's it doesn't look like a gimme trophy list, let's put it that way. I don't even know how to pronounce this. Should I attempt this? Mexta... Mexta Meditation Force, I guess? I don't know. Uh, again, no platinum. Um, no idea why. Uh, Actually, people here are saying, no platinum, what a shame. So yeah, it's a shame, no plat. Uh, Monstrum. Uh, sit on a derelict cargo ship, you have to outsmart one of Monstrum's most terrifying predators as you try and escape Will with a periodically generated environment and permadeath. It's up to you and your wits to stay alive. So let's check out this one. Fortunately, we do have a platinum trophy for this one. So it looks like it's a first person, I mean, it's playing. It's a first person, like, B-grade horror game. Um, but it looks kind of interesting. I, I am kind of intrigued by this. So, three bronze, four silvers, and nine gold, which is good. We've got like an escape trophy, lock up the monster, power two additional areas, activate the main stream, win the game, win the game against the hunter. So there's different monsters in the game, we know that now. Escape via the sub, escape via the helicopter, stun a monster, trigger a hunter, 
Hit the brute with a flare, give an access. Okay, cool. So, Monstrum is interesting. I am, yeah, I think this could be a pretty reasonable platinum. Um, this could be actually quite an enjoyable one. I'm, I'm into horror games. These are the developers, Team Junkfish. I've never heard of them before. They, um, Monstrum, Monstrum, oh, they've made a seek. Wait, is this Monstrum 1 or Monstrum 2? This is Monstrum. Oh, so they've already made a sequel to this game, which hasn't come out yet. Or maybe it's coming to PS4 later, depending on how the first one does. I'm guessing this was a game that was on either mobile or Steam. Ah, Monstrum 2 doesn't look like it's released yet. Interesting, guys. This, uh, I'm curious about this. These guys doesn't look like they've released a game on PlayStation before. But they got the trophies right. So they got a, they got a platinum trophy in the game. So, yeah. Junkfish. This is a uh, good job, guys. You did you did good. Okay. Moving on. So next we have Saints Row the Third Remastered. Now I'm just pumped for this game. Everyone knows what Saints Row is. Your third person open world GTA type game, but wacky and kooky and there's Kanye West in there. I, yeah, this is Saints Row 3 on PS4. That's what we've been wanting, guys. This is exactly what we've been wanting. I, this game is like comfort food. Um, and I'm really excited to play it again. The trophies aren't on uh, PSN profiles yet. So they haven't gone live yet. However, they have gone live on Xbox Achievements. And from what I can see here, there's nothing any different. They all look to be the same trophies that are on the PS3 version. You've got like all your complete, which is your story mission stuff. Complete, complete, complete. Uh, then all your side missions. So completing every instance of every side mission. Finding 25 and 100% of the collectibles, which is time consuming. Complete your first challenge, complete all challenges, do your first nut shot, uh, play for at least two hours as a male character, two hours as a female. Yeah, these are exactly the same. There's nothing else here. I mean, they might have like added the DLC trophies onto this as well. Trouble with Clones, I think might have been DLC. Yeah, I think they might have added the DLC trophies onto this list as well, but otherwise it's pretty easy. On the PS3 version, there was like a online trophy that was potentially missable if you, because the on um, servers got shut off, I don't know what it was, but it doesn't look like that's here either. I think it was for like customizing a character and uploading them. So potentially they've removed that, which would be a good thing. So that's Saints Row. That looks awesome. I'm really excited for Saints Row Remastered. I'm going to be playing that next week. Yeah, Superhero X, which I can't find the trophies for, I can't find achievements for, and I can't even find a trailer for. So I don't know what this game is. The image is like that. I did some Googling. It looks like it could be an Android game, which is coming to consoles. So I'm not sure we don't know too much about this one. Uh, Trail Makers is actually the same boat. We don't have a trophy list for this one yet. But I, I don't know about this one. It, it feels like a Lego ripoff to me. Like the characters look like Lego characters and they look like they're bricks and stuff like that. I'm not sure. I've never seen this done before. So I'd be a little bit worried if I was these guys. Just because like, are they ripping off Lego? Or is, I don't know. Maybe it's a licensed thing that I'm not aware of. Um, They've got a long achievement list. There's no trophies yet. So there's 18 achievements. So say 19 trophies. Uh, there's, there's some for getting golds on particular levels, rebuilding a spaceship, entering a volcano, uh, landing on a floating island, crash into a blimp, land on the lighthouse, uh, bump into the whales, upload a vehicle to the gallery, download and load a vehicle to the gallery, drive over eight chickens, break the sound barrier, fly through the rings, complete the ball puzzles, and stay airborne. So yeah, it's a, it's a pretty straightforward list. I, I don't know, to be honest, what the difficulty of that one's going to be. Because um, we just don't know much about the game. And then last on our list today, we have Wonderful 101, 101 Remastered. Now the trophy list for this one has been up for a fair while now. And there's been a few people that have earned um, some of the trophies already. It's a, a platinum game and traditionally platinum games have long trophy lists for doing everything in the game. This, this is pretty similar. We've got like defeating all the different uh, enemies, uh, completing the prologue, you've got uh, complete all stages on normal, all stages on hard, which is probably your, your most difficult trophy in the game. You've got your 101% hard, which I guess like your triple S rank type thing, so that's that's going to be time consuming. Rescue a thousand civilians. Um, what about these golds? Obtain the unity big ability, uh, earn platinum or higher on all missions. Look, I yeah, this is, I don't know. The game's good. The game's a really solid game. Uh, it's not an easy platinum though. I don't really have the affinity with it that a lot of people do that I know I know a lot of people have. It's just, uh, it's, uh, I don't know. It's cool, but it's just not my kind of game. And that is everything on the drop this week. What a week. There's so many games and so many really awesome games as well. So 
All right, what are, what are the highlights? Let's say Wonderful 101 is a highlight because it came from a Nintendo console to a PlayStation console, which just doesn't really happen, so that's kind of cool. Um, Trail Makers was interesting. Saints Row the Third is probably the biggest game for me this week. I'm really excited for it. To be honest, this Monstrum game I'm really curious about as well now. Uh, what else have we got? Maneater. I am super, super excited for Maneater. I cannot wait for this game to come out. We've got Gorn as well on PSVR, which looks awesome. Golf with Friends, which looks really solid. And, and yeah, I think in terms of easy plats, we're probably looking at Concept Destruction, I, I assume is going to be a super easy platinum. I don't see why it wouldn't be. And a Fold Apart looked like a pretty easy platinum as well. What else did we say was potentially going to be? Maybe this one, Fluxteria, potentially had an easy plat to it. And then maybe Monstrum. So yeah, there's a few easy platinums potentially coming out this week as well. What a week. What a week. What a week. What a week. So, I don't know. I'm going to be picking up Saints Row and Manny Dead. Those are the two games I'm going to be playing this week. And then maybe Gorn as well, depending on what the price is. What are you guys going to be playing this week, though? If you Are you going to be picking up any other games that were featured in tonight's episode? Is there anything that you're really excited about? Or are there any of these that you think are like easy trophies that I might have missed? Is there anything I don't know? Um, are you, if you're a developer and you're watching this, then let us know down in the comments below. Are, your, are the trophies in your game easy? Can you confirm or deny? But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give your boy a thumbs up like this. Crash is so excited. Look at him in the background there. And, uh, and if you're new to the channel and you're just coming over here for whatever reason, don't forget to subscribe. Stay around. Stick around. Join the trophy revolution. I mean, why not, right? I promise you I'll be able to get you at least a dozen easy platinums. I promise. They'll bump up your numbers like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.